Welcome, my name is Thomas. I'm here to share this video. Your business is only good as you are. And that simply means that your business is connected directly to you. You are the business. Without you, there is no business. And so if you're a person that suffers from different things uh, that may affect your business, uh, that's the things that I want to talk about in this video. So when it comes to my premium coaching program for new tax professionals, it's 18 months access. Uh, I have six payments of 297, which adds up to 1900, adds up to 1782 dollars, which comes with free software, free software training, uh, free tax probation training, and free uh, tools and resources that's going to help you to be able to work your business virtually versus locally. It's included in this package. Uh, and so, if you're looking to get started, you want to take action between March and April because what you don't understand is it takes time to get the knowledge and skills needed to prepare individual income taxes. It takes time to learn how to use professional software. Uh, that's time consuming just for those two tasks alone. And you don't want to wait till. Uh, close to the year ending to try to come aboard and learn those things and not be confident in your ability to get the job done. So, like I said, your business is only good as you. It's really all about how good are you, how well are you, how healthy are you as a person. So, our number one asset, which I learned in 21 of January, is our health. Well, I got sick in January of 21, and I was out the whole year. I made some money because I could work from home, but the money potential was a joke compared to previous years because I got sick. I was in and out the clinics and in and out the hospital, and so I wasn't able to produce the type of income that I'm used to producing because of that. So that showed me and reminded me that my number one asset is my health. So physically, mentally, and emotionally, and spiritually, I must stay healthy to be able to operate the business and take it to where I want to take it to because if those factors are not in order, it will be hard to operate a successful business regardless of how good I am inside my business. So the mindset is simply another way of saying how we see our life, how we see the world, and the world around us. A lot of us have to change our mindset in order to create a successful business because a lot of our mind set uh thinking is not in uh is not conducive to starting and growing and building a successful business. Uh and so we have to come to believe that A, the way businesses are going and the way business is and the way things that's happening inside of our business, they're happening for a reason. And is that reason uh is it because I'm not being the person I need to be? Is it because just just a part of life and how did this go? In reality, it's a combination of all of that. So when it comes to starting and growing a profitable business, regardless of what industry it is, you want to have your mindset right. You want to understand that from the day I say I want to start a business until the day I retire, I must invest my money, my time, my talent, my resources and all the other in ingredients needed to build out a successful business each and every day, I must be willing to invest all that. If you're not willing to invest inside your business and inside yourself, then get you a job and do the best you can on that job because you're not business material. And that's my opinion and that's my belief in that and I'm sticking to it. So when it comes to doing what I do with my premium coaching program, which gives you 18 month access to work with me and helping you build out a profitable business for yourself, no one do it like I can. No one does it like I do. We have so many online bombarding you with mentorship and coaching programs that's designed to help you do what I do, but they can't do it like I do because they're not me and vice versa. That's just a faith and confidence and the belief I have in myself based on my 22 years of experience being in this awesome career industry of tax preparation and taxation. So when it comes to personal development, I must constantly improve on me as a person 
in all the areas that I come to believe that I need work on, that's going to help my business get better because those things affect my business because I am my business. I am the business. But I mean, there is no business. So that's what people don't understand is that personal development, business development, meaning constantly educating myself, constantly invested in getting better, learning more, uh, getting good with the knowledge and skills needed to prepare individual income taxes and all those different things never end. Things are always changing, growing, and moving. And so I must continue to invest in education on a personal and business level. I must be willing to do what I need to do to start my business regardless of where I'm at from a financial point of view. When I got started with my business, I had two locations. Didn't have, I didn't have a whole lot of money, but I had two locations. And I had a couple of people who allowed me to rent those locations and pay them as I started to make money inside my business. And that was important. Having the right people to help support you and your dream inside your business is crucial. I had that. So when it comes to your business is only good as you are, you have to be this awesome, wonderful person that's going to be the one that takes charge of your business because you are the leader of the business. You are the solopreneur. You're the self-employed individual that wear all these different hats and you got to make it work until you can make enough money to hire and outsource people for essential uh, tasks that definitely need to be done. So if I was you, because see, I was smart enough to know what I needed, and I was blessed enough to be able to hire someone regardless of not having the money right now because they understood that this business would make money and they would get paid as money came in. So I had me a, a administrative assistant that took care of all the behind the scenes work that I couldn't take care of because I'm on the fire line doing taxes six days a week, 12 hours a day. So there's no way I could help and help make those things happen behind the scenes that needed to be done. So I had to hire someone for that. And so that helped alleviate the burden. But what happened was once tax season started to get slow, the money started to get slow, I had to start sending everybody home. Those behind the scene tasks were not getting done because I was still the one on the front, front, front line, still doing the work of preparing individual income taxes, sitting at a desk and those tasks that need to be done wasn't that important to me in the first place. And that's the reality of it. So, it's a lot of things that I've improved on. There's a lot of things I still haven't. But the bottom line is, they won't get in the way of me building and growing out a successful business for myself because I understand what I need inside my business to make it grow and expand and to be all it can be. <clears throat> and I don't have to be the one to do everything because, number one, that's not reality. That's not realistic. So making enough money to hire a bookkeeper that's going to take care of the books or a CPA, either one, whatever your heart desire, someone who's uh, capable enough to do the books to make sure the business taxes get paid, and all these other functions uh, inside the location that we used to have is crucial, it's paramount. That's what my administrative assistant was all about. She took care of all those things. So if you're the person that know they want to start a tax collection business and you might have been burnt already, you might have invested your money already in other people who didn't deliver on their promise that they said they're going to do, if you're a victim of that, Reach out to me at 773-782. Leave me a comment inside the comment section. Uh, take the contact information inside this video and use it to send me an email or something so we can talk, chat, and help position you to have a better 2023 tax season than you had for 2022 because I refer to the year that the tax returns is all about and not the year itself.
So if you, this year wasn't all that great for you because the person you connected with and worked under and uh, supposed to made money with dropped the ball and didn't deliver on any promise they said it was going to do for you, you are the people I want to work with. You're the people I want to help set a solid foundation for success to be profitable and to paint a realistic picture of what that's going to take for you to make it happen for yourself. And that's going to be different for each and every individual who reached out to me to let me know they were a victim of one of these people who took money from them and made them promises and they didn't keep them. I want to hear from you guys because you are the ones who the, uh, are the ones who I specialize in working with and helping make this up happen for. My coaching program was designed strictly for the new person only. But I'm good enough and confident enough to be able to work with people, regardless of where you're in your journey, who want to get started in this industry. Because I work, I run, with, uh, I get, I work with people who already got the uh, paperwork put together. They got the EFIN, EIN, their business accounts, their payment processors. They got all that together. But they knew, and so they still need guidance. They still need training. They still need insight. They need. Uh, someone that's going to show them the right way and the right path to go down so they don't waste their time, money, and efforts going down the wrong path. And a perfect example of that is new people getting started who studying from a studying for a professional exam called an enrolling exam where you don't even have a solid foundation for doing taxes yet in the first place. But you're studying for a professional exam that costs you about six hundred dollars plus, because we talking about three different parts: the individual part, the business part, and the administrative. And you study for all three of these, but you ain't took a basic income tax course. You ain't good at even doing that. But you're trying to study for a professional exam. That's way past your pay grade when it comes to getting started. You want to build a foundation on the basics first. Get good at that first. Master that first. Make money doing this first. And then build some confidence, experience, and clientele in yourself and say, hey, now I'm ready to go take that professional exam because I put the time in. I put the work in. And that's what that's about. So your business is only good as you. It's all about you being all you can be because you are the business. And whatever flaws and character defects and all those things that you may have about yourself, they may affect your business. You want to get it together. Because discipline is one of the key components to being able to run a successful business. Prioritizing your life and, and prioritizing your business is the simple part. Carrying it out and doing what you need to do is the hard part because without the discipline to do it, it don't get done. So I'm here to support new tax professionals slash preparers who want to make a career and business in this industry, I got your back. My Prima Coaching Program is designed for you. Let's talk about it. 773-782-1320. I'll see you in my next video.